sure he's in the caves. I'll ask Lyron how he uh, made out with the uh, with the emperor and um, what he did to um, if he needed to like see him. Like what did what did he need to do to go talk to the guy? He just walked in. Yeah. Okay. And uh, which direction was he? Was he this was in way? The cave. the cave is up here. Where's the cave at? There's only one cave. One cave? Okay. Walked by it a couple times? Unless your vision's really bad. My vision's not as good as his. Mm, it's eight. Very bright. <sighs> yeah, but it's all red. Like, I didn't know what this was. Mm. I guess we'll just make it clear then. The ones with the yellow dots are vendors. Mm -hmm. Yes. To this individual. Um, hello, you the, um, you are the, the doctor of some sort, is that correct? Are you here for modification? Oh, no, 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 I was just, um, perusing, seeing, um, oh, a modification, wait a sec, wait a sec, what kind of modifications do you do? Many different things. Anywhere from uh, installing, modifying, removing Bioware and cybernetics to other far more invasive things. See. Oh, well. I'm sure if something happens to one of us, we'll come to you for services. Um, um, is this your first time at the Bullet Hell Mountain, or is this a, a usual thing no. for you? Spontaneous when I decide to come. Let's see, well, I hope people usually those who are hit by the ballistic metals don't survive on impact. Mm. I buy the corpses. There's a oh. lot of parts. Yes, I imagine. If you have dead that you want to sell, I'll buy them, if they're worth my time. Hmm. Not that Simple I have bodies. on hands. Yeah, of course, I, under I understand. Simple bodies are undesirable. Mundane, on the other hand, are too many cultivator bodies. It's hard to find mundane people parts uncorrupted by a Tao or uh, without heavenly and earthly energies imbued into it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You do uh, know your body, it changes drastically when you intake those energies, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I can imagine, especially when you uh, circulate your key and would not inform those pathways. Hmm. I see something interesting. Oh. And they'll show you some images, uh, very gory, but clinical images. <laughs> this, uh, these images are the insides of specific individuals who have perished alongside the path. You'll notice that the first image is a normal body, mundane. Normal pieces, normal parts where they should be. Nothing interesting. 
But look, this is a gold practitioner. Look how there's an extra skin layer. Look how there's reinforced tendons and muscle connections. Look how there's armor on the organs. Well, I imagine that's also from um, taking in the beast scores, is it not? These are without. Ah, I see, I see. It's rare to find individuals of such strength without a beast core, but they're called pure humanists. Ah, I see. Yes. But look how drastic the change is on the fifth image. This is a zone four cultivator, a pure humanist who died. Look how strange their biology is. They have redundant sets of tendons. Their bones have this ablative circular armor to it, almost like carbon fiber weaving. Ah, you know, it comes to something in minds. Um, it's almost like the race went up a tier. Yes. You're elevating oneself, but mm -hmm. you see why the mundane body is so valuable? I can't use these. Mm. These parts from these cultivators, they're so alien. So unique. Not oh. to mention the blood type. Oh. Trying to find normal mundane blood in any amount is very difficult. Well, I'm actually uh, just the person for you. I'm going to do an awareness test um, for um, the blood bank mm -hmm. um, inside my recreation card. And also um, bodies, because there's a lot of dead people since it's a planet and a lot of large population. Yep. So let's do that now. Spend um, 20 key. Uh, yeah, so Matt, uh, would this be a new session? Do I get to refill fake currency, or should I use that for next session? You can refill. Okay. Let's do that there. Um, I'm going to spend uh, 20 key for a plus 100. Uh, 20 degrees of success. You fly around, and then you realize you can just go to your... Um, uh, is it your organization? Yeah, yeah, I know that. And they'll I'm just give you all the information. <laughs> right, and then uh, put me in the right direction, and then I'll uh, start... Uh, no need to. Bring... They, they can manage it all for you from there. You just need to tell them what you want, how much you want, when you want it. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm going to give them time. Um, but first, I, I'm going to have a sample. So what I would like to do first is I'd like to give um, uh, blood and a body um and see if this works for them very interesting hmm oh this is genuine the biology is a strange permutation of a humanoid but still doable well tell me the quantities you would like to have and i will provide it as much as you're willing to sell. Very well. I have an incredible amount of people who need it. Excellent. If me be uh, forthright with you, I will oh. tell you why. I see. The reason why people on the path have a hard time recovering from grievous wounds is because you can't do a blood transfusion from other cultivator blood unless they cultivate the same Tao and are of the same bloodline. So you can't transplant organs either. You're basically forced to take alchemy pills, which brings out metabolism and healing factors of the own body to basically make more of what you are lacking. I tried. But the cultivator 
let's just say physiology is so tyrannical and domineering, you can implant a normal mundane organ or give a blood transfusion of normal mundane blood. Piping is important for the healing factor, but not necessary, just how fast you want to speed it up. Um, doesn't matter. The, the tyrannical essence and uh, recover uh, the healing factor and recoverability of t cultivators basically suppresses the, the, the blood in the organ, so there are no problems. And, and that organ is a good match, it just heals. They just need some foundation baselines and work off. If I see, interesting. Yes. Then, if you can, you can graft additional um, biology over the new organ to help it uh, catch up with the other organs, but it's not quite necessary. The, the cultivator body is hyper-efficient. And if I have a stockpile, I can save quite a few lives or do some good business for people who are trying to um, heal. It's, uh, if you ever see someone bedridden for a long time, unable to heal from an old wound, it's because they don't have the ability to replace that organ that's failing. I see, I see. Hmm. <laughs> well, that information is very important, and I um, let's say the uh, the first body in this blood here is um, payment for that. Is that fair? Sure. Hmm. Okay. Give me. It um, seems you you have a large supply. I do. What would you like in return for it? Well, we do need martial coins. Um, it is something, or heaven and the earth energy crystals are also quite valuable. Um, I could do a heaven and. Earth crystals. Unfortunately, the martial coins are also what I'm here for. So of course, aren't we all? It is. Them. It is part of the path. But I do uh, do services. Oh, interesting. Yes. Hmm. Well, give me some time to think about it. Um, give me f um, at the end of the fourth day. I will have a large supply, so my people can gather them and uh, have it ready for you. Does that sound fair? your time of course um there is let's say a hundred low grade a hundred mid grade a hundred high grade figure it out when you have what you say you have of course just to have those on hand so it's um Go from there. Oh, perfect. Um, excellent. I will be back with you um, shortly. I'm sure, time will fly by, and unless you leave, and I understand if that happens, but um, hopefully we can work something out. Leave unless the next base camp is made available, or oh, you're going. Uh, I see. Yes, or the uh, this base camp becomes too dangerous. Ah, uh, when the uh, I'm guessing. When the, uh, who are they called? The Labyrinth people come, maybe? Yes, we will be leaving well before that happens. Ah, I figured as much, but too dangerous, you say. Oh, that's some information. Um, we are um, heading to the, the next base camp um, in roughly four good days. Um, it's a good offer if you'd like to come with us. No, no. I am practicing trade, not cultivation here. Fair enough. The when the path is cleared, I will make the effort. Excellent. Well, I will see you there then. So, um, oh, what is your name, by the way? You can call me Larry. Most of the tradesmen here just go by a title. Oh, they're excellent. This is your cultivator for... title. Well, there are many tradesmen. That's the problem. So. Just doctor's fine for now. Well, doctor. If you survive, I might actually give you my name. Ah, I appreciate that. I'll take you up on it. I'll go up to this individual with the mask. Hello. Uh, hi there. 
Are you here for some supplies? It all depends on what you're offering. I sell sorts. I'm a. I brought a general store of goods with me this time. Oh, Not a grocery store or hardware store. More of a general store. You never know what you need. Well, I'm. I wish to. Um, I don't know if you would have this, but um, anything on refinement. I'm, I'm looking to. Um, I'm, I'm looking to supply an individual that is going to d- go down that path. Is there anything you in the general store that could help with that? What those type of refinement? Things? Oh, just the refinement of all four pillars. So more of the generalist. I figured you'd be the person to come to. Uh, you had to explain that to me, because refinement also has there's the refinement guild, the refiner's guild. They, they no. do refining. Um, they're very kind of big. Are okay. you wanting books on refinement? Yes, yes. A, a book, perhaps, or um, any tools, or just. What were you referring to, though? No, it's someone of of that caliber, someone uh, within the refinement guild, someone that utilizes, um, you know, array formations or alchemy or. Uh, Oh, you know, they're to... not cheap, but none of the the um, core uh, books are. You know, I see. Yeah. Oh, do, you, do you have one of these things, or is, uh, maybe that's well, not the place? Well, you're the first to ask for them, which is very strange. So, yeah, I got the full set. It's not picked through yet. So, oh. you can buy the whole set. There's four of them. It's okay. Only the basic set. You'll of have course. to go to their establishment or some other more shady broker to get the advanced or intermediary books. Well, that sounds like a great first start, though, doesn't it? Uh, it's two Marshall coins apiece, so eight total if you want all four books. Oh, why, yes, please. Well, here you go. Uh, they're brand new. You can go through and verify the authenticity if, if that's what you choose. Um, mm-hmm. I, well, I guarantee it with my pin, as he taps his merchant's pin. Ah, excellent. So, um, I've just talked to the doctor. Do you have a title? Or uh, my name is Larry, by the way. You can, you oh, can call hello, me Larry. that. Uh, we merchants don't really like to give out names or learn names because yes, yes. We the, the chance of you dying goes up significantly every single base camp you go to or attempt. So we try not to get attached. I understand. Yes, that's completely fair. Um, so the generalist or the general store manager oh, or... is fine because I got the spirally googly eyes. On ah, mask. yes, I see. Uh, is there something special about that mask? Well, I got it from a place that's not that that's not very safe to go to. Um, uh, but I'll be the only guy who's going to be here when the labyrinthians come up. Ah, I see. I see. I brought some special stuff from home, and they'll probably like it. Uh, I can't sell it to the common populace because that's the rule of the all labyrinthians. Okay. Um, labyrinth stuff can only be sold between labyrinthians because most of the stuff is so highly toxic and corrosive to reality and those who live in it that uh, if you're not exposed to those toxins mm. while being, you know, from being a labyrinthian, it'll just kill you. So you don't have an immunity or a resistance to it yet. That's that's what I understand then. So it's not that they're all terrible monsters that want to kill you. It's that they um, house energies that you know just being in their presence can do damage to you. No, no, a lot of them are just horrible monsters that can kill you. Ah, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, the poisons, although if you have a high enough concentration, it does drive you crazy, which does lead you to more prone or um, erratic behavior. I see, I see. Uh, it's also extremely painful, so a lot of people have really short tempers, which leads to violent behavior. Mm-hmm. Uh, they also have a lot of strength beyond what you would expect. Um, so sometimes they have a hard time controlling that strength, and even basic move, you know, b- basic movements can cause significant damage if they don't mm-hmm. have, if they're not fully focused all the time. But Labyrinthians are known for taking what they want when they want it, because they don't know when the, that resource will be available again. 
So the more rare the resource, the more less, the more likely they are going to just snatch it. And uh, there will be usually two to three options you're given, if you're given any at all. One mm-hmm. is get the fuck out of here. Two is well, you can stay, but you're gonna die. And sometimes there's a third, like I'll buy it off of you. Some very rare. I see. Interesting. Yeah, they're they're pretty binary people. They that uh, they if they can't kill you, they'll try and buy it. But uh, or prevent you from having it too, because you know denial is always an option. Gives the opportunity for getting it another time if it's denied. Well, no, a lot of resources in the labyrinth are one of a kind, so I don't want you to have it. You don't want me to have it, so no one gets it. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah. I see. But uh, by the laws of the uh, Queen of Hell, there shall be no um, trading of hell or labyrinthian resources to mortal kind. I see. Well, uh... if you want, I can hook you up. Uh... Not selling that stuff, but I can get you a ticket to the labyrinth. It'll strip you of everything you own. Well, maybe not all the things you own, but you'll be re- reduced down to very minimal power. And um, that'll prime your, your physical vessel to be able to take on labyrinthian energies and new strengths. But your hmm. journey would be done here. Your path would be over if you yes. went to the labyrinth. No, uh, that, that makes sense. Um, even though I, would, I, I think having a ticket would be interesting, it would stop me from my... Uh, my path, and uh, never give up on your path. So you could buy a ticket from me and give it to somebody as a as an option. Like, hey, your path is over. You can't continue fighting. Uh, you have no more room for growth. Well, here, why don't you try going here where you are no longer limited? Although it is really dangerous. Uh, you see these masks? They're <laughs> not made from normal material they're made from people oh they're people masks uh they're made from their face being taken off by the monsters that live there i see so was your face taken off yeah i'm one of those weird mask people who wear their own face but you, it doesn't really adhere back to itself um so you just wear your own ripped off face over your um, I see. Well, missing face. Well, yeah. Is is that uncomfortable? Um, it's different. I remember a time when I it was different because when okay. you uh, undergo thraldom, basically you just become a an empty shell, uh, a, a flesh golem thing walking around. Mm. Um, I, I I remember being able to feel a lot of things more acutely. Like, emotions were much more extreme. Everything's much more mellow and muted. Kind of like, um, everything's behind a veil. Like a wall of fog. I can still feel, it's just... There's less extremes, you know? Oh, well, that's too bad. Emotions are well, quite important for our kind, so... I'm also strong enough to kill gods, so... Oh, well, there it's you have it. I, I suppose, um, you know, it's it's all about the balance of things. Uh, yeah, well, well, little gods, you know, the ones that are like, hey, oh, I'm Hermes, or I'm uh, yeah, this god yeah. of so-and-so. There are greater divinities. I'm not that strong. I'm more of a merchant, but uh, you have to be able to protect your own wares. Right, it's exactly. Kind of strange. Yeah. It's kind of strange. The longer you're in there, you just accumulate strength over time regardless, as long as you're actively doing something and not dying. Well, yeah. I hope you um find more um more people to sell to. Um Oh, oh there's gonna be all sorts of business, especially when the Labyrinthians come up. Uh I'll open up my special shop for them and I've saved some ah. goodies. And uh they're probably starving for some of those goodies from home. Well, I will take a ticket. I think it will um, come in handy someday, as it might be fated for them to have. Okay. Now, mind you, you get one. This is your ticket. Could be mine, could be somebody else's. But if I take nope, it, that means nope. I can't this get it. This is your ticket. I'm giving it to someone else in that case. You if can I... give it to someone else. That, that's, yes. that's the that's privilege the, of the ticket. It's holder. the freedom, and I, I, do, I do appreciate that. Ego. I will take it. 
put it in my pocket. Um, it cannot be taken from you. That was a, that's a, a, a that's a rule, a premium <laughs> gift and a law of reality yeah. that the Queen of Hell put on those tickets. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, they cannot be taken. Uh, if someone tries to take it from them, they'll be exposed to a very cruel fate. Uh, <laughs> do warn the people you care about, and don't say a word to the people who you want uh, a fate worse than death. I see. Well, I'll keep it in my back pocket. Who knows? Mm -hmm. it might come in handy. I it appreciate might. that. Would you like to buy any more general goods? I got all sorts of stuff here and there. Uh, well, I can't think of anything that comes to mind. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'll be here. I've got all sorts of goods. It is first come, first serve. I'm not going to be able to uh, resupply the stock. Yes. I, uh, I have one singular stock, and it's dwindling fast because people forget about things like toiletries. Oh, understandable. <laughs> you know, what about um, maybe there's some type of seed or some type of thing um, that... What are you thinking? Uh, well, I I, uh, I was just thinking um, uh, plants for a garden or um, plants for that utilize the heaven and earth energy that can um, help maintain a populace. Maybe there's something along those oh. lines. Phone call. Phone call? Okay. It was Ben. Yeah. Oh, of uh, course. Plants that help maintain heaven and earthly energies. Hmm. Oh, no. Um, uh, that utilize heavenly... Oh, well, that's a good one, too, honestly. Um, but I was thinking more... So, so two. I have two things. One that can help... Um, uh, populates and um, you know maintain the heaven and earth energies within a space, and other ones that can um, uh, in, in turn um, uh, produce um, bountiful um, food for a populace, so they can s continue to stay healthy. Okay, well, here's a, let's start with the second one. You want <laughs> a, a, a plant that has excessive production. Yeah, um, that utilizes the heaven and earth energies for, um, you know, growing and uh, producing uh, a bounty uh, compared are you to... Are just trying to make food, or are yeah. you trying to make cultivator food? Uh, just um, uh, cultivator food and food, both of them. Okay, well, let's start with the normal one. You can just feed any plant that would be normally fruit-bearing or vegetable-bearing. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Level of, uh, but make yeah. sure it's really low-grade. Like mm -hmm. low grade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just need to work watch out for nutrient intake because it will suck um, the soil in a sense. Yes. It'll it'll devastate the soil because it's you'll have to constantly help um, infuse the soil with all sorts mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. uh, nutrients and fertilizer and whatnot. So, um, I might recommend using low grade. Uh, agricultural cultivator soil right, right mundane plant though and then you can feed it um water that has been soaked or that has uh, had heaven and earth low-grade crystals soaking in a, a pot for several months see because eventually the water will leach out uh the heaven and earthly energies Unless it's water element, because then those are the only ones, or ice element, that won't leach in water. So get a whole bunch of low-grade stuff, put a huge reservoir of water, mm -hmm. and then just fill the bottom until you can't see the bottom anymore with low-grade crystals. Okay. Um, then you can water normal plants, and the bounty will be uh, huge. And it will grow faster than you can possibly keep up with. I understand. You'll need you'll need three times the workforce just to manage the same space the single workforce used to be able to. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Quality will be high. Uh, the fruit also will be it'll last longer mm -hmm. than normal, so it won't rot quickly. Um, so uh, as for cultivator food. Uh, that's a different discussion uh, entirely uh, because you're trying to make cultivator 
uh, ingredients. This usually requires, and this will loop back to the first question, a biome. Because uh, all these different plants have different tendencies, and they're finicky, and they're picky, and uh, they need an, a truly prodigious amount of resources, attention, and care, and even low-grade stuff. Um, some people never learn how to properly grow low-grade anything in their entire lifespan. Uh -huh. They will try for a century and fail. because because they don't have plants. the knowledge? Or is the yes. is biome, like you were saying, as well? I could. Well, biome, too. But if you had the soil, and you had the water, and you had the plant, hell, if you just had the seeds, that doesn't mean it's going to grow or germinate. Right. You need to let alone cultivate it, in a sense. Yield. Well, it's an incredibly difficult task, because... Unlike other plants who are a bit more resilient, these things are extremely finicky. Certain plants aren't. They're more invasive, more weed-like. They they go out of their way to just ravage the environment um, of its resources. And it'll sustain itself, it'll adapt itself. But things like flowers, things like certain grasses, or fruit or vegetable-bearing plants, trees... Uh, unless it's the carnivores type of trees, um, those they they just won't grow. They need special attention. Mm. So um, the amount of research time and effort it takes to go uh, to make these things, um, you can think yourself wealthy. You will find yourself a very poor man at the end of it. But if you I make understand. it through to the end and you actually get your first harvest. Well, you can sell it. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, no, it's it, it, it's pretty good. So, would this be considered general knowledge for uh, the cultivator planet itself, or uh, because I don't want to? I was I was just wondering because having these kind of farming books that's, that sounds like a good thing to have too. Can um, you sell those? They're one of the hardest things to understand. Mm, yes, yes. I'm going to have to get you... Uh, you're going to have to buy a lot of books if you want anyone to have a, even a shot at doing this. Right. You're looking at like a 20 Marshall coin purchase because you're going to need like four sets of six primers just to have the right knowledge, the nomenclature, the verbiage, the base understanding, the fundamentals. Uh, but it sounds like you have them. Is that correct? I do. You're the first one who wants to buy books. Well, I guess I've come to the right place, because I will buy them for 20 Marshall Coins. Okay, he hands you a stack of 60 books. They are textbook-sized. Here's everything you need to know, minus a few, like, personal uh, experiences from somebody who's done <laughs> it for a living. I see. Um... Yeah, no, this this is thousands of hours of reading, because it's not just reading the book. You need to comprehend it. And if you don't comprehend it, you need to read it again until you do. Uh, it's well, not just about how smart you are. Um, intuition is ideal. And don't give these to farmers. They grow, and they, and they understand how to grow and farm and do it. But this is different. This is very different. Uh, this is art. I see. You well, need to have somebody with an artist's obsession. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your help there. Um, of course. Should help with, with the uh, the spring sect. Uh, um, maybe even those books sect are also well. non-copyable. Oh, so really? Be careful. Yeah. Um, the Agricultural Union... Uh, is very particular. They put an extra failsafe on those books. So in any number of people can read them. They just can't be copied. In fact, they can't even be transcribed. So, That's interesting. Yeah. So don't do that. But they're an unlimited read. Of course. Of course. Well, yeah. uh, there is a cheat code. 
Oh. If you do a present, if you're presenting, and then you have a projector, a lens that's on the pages, project, projecting it on the screen, you're you just making multiple it bigger. People. Yeah. You're just making it bigger. You're not making a new one. Multiple people can read it all at once, and since there's no limit, yeah, you're not trying to copy it. <laughs> now, uh, individuals cannot write down verbatim what's on the uh, what's on the screen. They can make personalized notes, but no literal uh, verbatim writing. So, um, only let in people who are trustworthy right. yeah all right there you go thank oh. you for your purchase that's very uh, i wasn't expecting individuals who wanted books but you know what i had a wild hair of a thought that you know what maybe somebody wants something to read so i bought a whole bookstore's worth of stuff and i'm glad <laughs> that uh, somebody's buying it well um I, i'm glad i can be of service as well um i've i've gotten the farming i've gotten the refining um what about uh, array formations? Do you have anything on arrays? Well, you'd be the first as well. That one actually ends up being a desperation buy by somebody here later on when they hit a wall and they can't get it. Of course, it. right. So it's the same thing. It's eight Marshall coins, two for each book. It's Remember, it's only the basics, though. And arrays are very time-consuming. Oh, I understand, yes. Uh, I, I will take it as well. I'll be uh, 1638 Marshall coins total for you so far. What a hefty um, purchase. Yes, I'm thinking long-term benefits here. Oh, so. yeah. But that that should get you... Oddly enough, the, the Array people are always looking for new people because, you know, they're <laughs> not a lot of people have the patience or intelligence for Array work or the intuition. So the those particular books actually have the ability to help you learn one star arrays. Oh. And if you really are good at it, you can there's an array form formula in the very back of it. Um it only reveals itself when you've fully read the book front to back. Um and are able to answer the test questions. If you do, it'll reveal itself. And you can actually learn how to use and make one of the most quintessential and well-known, but very good, one-star array. Well, it's quite fascinating. Thank you for the little yeah. bit of tidbits. Oh, yeah. I like to sell my products and then you know explain a little bit about it, especially to a customer who might not know what they're buying. Because, yes. you know... It, Nothing's worse when you go out and you don't feel good about what you spent your money on. Right? I agree. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think we'll see each other in the future someday, too. It just seems like we're fated. You just seem like the kind of individual that uh, gets around in life. So, I, well, think uh, of it this way. If there's labyrinthians at, at the site, you bet I'll be there. <laughs> I'll, I'll count on it. Oh, I'm nice. the only one with a pass from the Queen um, and Riveth uh, to be able to, you know, be here as a merchant on Marshall Garden. You think Riveth is very. Oh, oh yeah, wonderful. Uh, well, you have to go through the Queen faction of the Solicon Sector, and uh, Riveth has to personally interview you. To see if you're a right fit, because you got to be gritty, but you got to be tough. You got to be pretty. You got to be honest and good, but you also got to be, um, you know, self-serving. So it's like a lot of contradictions. And then of course you got to get approval from the Queen of Hell because you know nothing goes in and out of the labyrinth without her say so, including people. Well, it sounds like she uh, runs a tight ship, this Queen of Hell. Well, she has to, because if, if the things inside the labyrinth spill out into reality, things will end in a most horrific way very quickly. Well, They're basically holding the hot gates. Border patrol. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, they're, they're, they're the border master. I see, I see. Well, mm -hmm. um... I think uh, that's all I need for now. I mean, I have... Two, two of my sex and the main guy. 
I think the other two can take care of themselves. Okay. Suppose you don't have them to have a uh, uh, a book set on butchering, do you? Butchering? Yes. Uh, general luck. <laughs> Guess who has uh, a little bit of extra luck? So let's reduce that by three. <laughs> um, well, there's a nat one hundred. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, no, uh, uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll roll. Uh, I'll get that Marshall. Uh, no, Marshall Dow point though. Yeah, full Dow <laughs> point. Yeah. Uh, well. No, I didn't think about it, because I heard there was only robots here. Ah, yes, they probably wouldn't need that kind of thing. It's true. It's I have a thing on dismantling robots, but that was purchased very quickly. I imagine it would be, yes, yes. Um, I don't think it actually helped them, because uh, the robots are built a little differently. <laughs> and it uh, turns out they got safety features on certain parts. So I'm not sure I sold them a good book. Hmm. I hope they're all right. I'm sure they'll be fine. Well, until next time. Okay. Savalier, uh will walk up to this individual. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. Hmm. My companion just came through this way. Uh, are you the Emperor of Progress? <laughs> no. No, they got the Oh, this guy. Uh no. No. Yeah. I see. Do I look progressive to you? Ah uh, no. Um I'm just looking for uh I'm just looking for that. So um, what is your name then? You can call me Larry. Hmm. I am Tiklokan, an eagle warrior from Kazukalkan. See? You will find our people soon enough. May you survive the Blood Games. The Blood Games? Yeah. We hold the access way from zone one to two. You must pass through our home. To arrive in zone two. Oh, so you are a mountain dweller then? You stay on the mountain? Between them, in them, on them. Yes. I see. When you arrive, you will be sorted. You will be separated from your Dao companions. Pray you do not see them so soon, for the only ones allowed through are those who can spill blood in the name of Kazuko Gan. What does it mean What's... to spread, uh, uh, spread blood and... Kill your opponents. Beat them in games of competition and skill and violence. If you beat them, you have either killed them by your own hand or you have killed them indirectly for being a loser in these games means you are sacrificed. Interesting. Well, I have complete faith in my Dao companions that they will be absolutely fine. As for the other people of once. We oh. test you on this. Because to travel the path is to prod upon the bone of many like stepping stones up a tall staircase that never seems to end. The bodies pile higher and higher. For everyone you kill, you add their pile of bones to yours. Yes, without it, um, well, conflict is just the way of the universe. Yes. There are exceptions. Those oh. of the truly benign and benevolent and the inert are permitted to pass 
through a different gate, though their restrictions and requirements are much more severe. I see. They must prove knowledge, holistic wisdom, harmony. There are a few, very few, who can make it through those gates. Or if you fail, your life is over. <clears throat> Blood must flow. I understand. Well, I hope they uh, are able to get a transfusion. There Maybe they'll have to go to the doctor. The world to save your life through a transfusion. Ah. The lifeblood must be spilled. I see, I see. It's interesting knowledge. So, what are you doing here, then? Are you a merchant, or are you just um, coming to say hi to people? No, I am hunting. There are certain individuals who have been very difficult to track and find. Oh, they will be here can... on the mountain, and when they do, I will hunt them. Well, is this a personal hunt, or would you like some help? It is a personal hunt. Ah, As an eagle warrior, well. I cannot accept outside help. But the rules also dictate that I must be open about my hunt to those who I'm hunting. They knew the moment they arrived that they are hunted, and I have given them a grace period. But they may not leave the mountain, for that would be cowardice. Their fate is still sealed. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I do take contracts in oh, yes. between work. You can provide me with a tier 10 or 11 spirit or demon beast core, and I will hunt a target of your choice. Oh, well, that is kind. I will keep you in the future. I do not have any of these um, cores that you speak of. Um. These cores, the tier tens and higher, are or spirit of near legendary status. To get yeah. one shows either wealth or strength, or both, which is its own form of power. And that is what we would be trading. Yes, power. a hunt for a hunt. Yes. Correct. Power for power. Power. Well, that is absolutely lovely. I will keep you in mind. I have connections, if uh, others need to reach me. If you can find those of the slaughterhouse, you may give them this feathered snake token. Show it to them, and they will get you in contact with someone who can reach out to me. Do know, I only take tier 10 demon or spirit beast cores or higher. I remember that. Any tier, right? It does not matter the quality. I mean, not the quality, but the type. It's just as long as the, the hunt is completed. Correct. The core is attached. Excellent. Well, Even if it is dangerous to be in possession of, at least for the holder, there are those of the Kazuko Khan who will revel in those powers and energies. Or, if it is unusable, it will be sacrificed Kazokan. Kazokan, your god. He might See. be considered a god. More of an entity. Spiritual leader of your people. <laughs> no, that is the speaker. A mouthpiece. Ah. A most venerable position, but one in which your lifespan is limited to one year. To speak about oh, God is a very dangerous thing. I'd say. But a great honor for your people, I'm sure. It is. One is chosen every year. It is a hotly contested position, even though you have one left, one year left to live.
Well, hmm. <laughs> good luck with your hunt. And good luck with yours. Savalair will nod to that and then uh, move over to the next person. Um, are, are you okay down there? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Ah, good to hear. Um, they look but... like one of the robots mm-hmm. that you've been fighting. Just a different model. Looks like you're all um, tied up there. Sure am. Did you need some assistance? Hmm. Well, if I said yes, the individuals who um, will have me here would be very angry if you let me out. Oh. Savalera will look down at them. Well, uh, what did you do? What's the, um, is there some type of crime or is it just more you're captured? I'm just captured. I didn't do a crime. I'm Halo. Halo? Uh, what? Yeah. Well, hello, Halo. Your, yeah, um, your name is um, quite popular within our species. It's the type of machine that we utilize. Oh, cool. Well, I have a machine Halo, too. Uh, they try to take it, but it doesn't, you know, you can't just you remove it by force. But, uh,. Yeah, no, I was captured. I wasn't really paying attention. That's my fault. Also, I don't really like all those big guns that the other platforms walk around with. I think it's a little, like... It's just asking to be jumped, but I guess it's also a deterrent? I don't know. Oh, are you part of the um, the truth faction, then? Uh, no. Oh. Okay. So you're not uh, only people who uh, have earned the right to be part of the truth faction can. I'm an incomplete person, so um, I don't have enough parts to be uh, eligible for citizenship. Oh, that's how it works. I see. Mm-hmm. So it's more of a... You gotta be enough of a person. Right, right, right. And what parts are you missing? Soul. A soul? Well, I only have a part of it. Uh, Safalair is going to think about this for a moment. Yeah. Uh, well. Don't worry about it. Like, I can't get more anyways. So, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm good with what I got. It's fine. Well, maybe you need a helping hand, then. Mm-hmm. Savalair will um, take one of his fake coins and give it to this individual. Ooh, pretty. You're missing a soul? Well, here's the start. Okay. Uh, just be careful out there. Um, the other platforms, um, they, they don't really got anything but programming and protocols. So whatever their programming and protocols tells them, uh, it's not like the soul wants to. It's just, well, that's what the computer tells you to do, and there's yes, not really we've... much of a person. We've we've met one of those already, and it was such a shame that they had to to die. But um, uh, don't worry, they're they're the not program. really people. Yeah. Um. Oh, do be careful though. Uh, I'm a Mark IV. Uh, I was the first to pass the thirty percent mark for the uh, the, the procedure. So. I have a personality. It's missing a lot of parts, though. Well, hopefully this um, this gets you started. Um, so uh, do be careful of the other ones. There are Mark Fives and Sixes going around now. They have a lot more going on, um, so they're very dangerous. I'm considered the weird one because I don't really like fighting. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Master just says I'm the big failure because I'm the big dum dum that doesn't listen, even though the programming's there. I don't know. I Sounds just... like freedom to me, which is something sometimes you never achieve. Oh, they just said I have really bad memory, and um, 
I'm really bad at like ability to focus. Mm-hmm. So usually I just forget what they tell me to do. And so does the computer, which is really weird. It shouldn't work like that. Like the computer should be a permanent memory system. So I should never be able to forget kind of like a picture perfect. But I try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I can kind of my attention drifts when people start going where 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 and then yeah. But don't be don't be sad if I forget your name or who you are. Well, yeah, again, you can call me Larry. Um, you know, hey, you don't look like a Larry. Ah, you've got me. You it's look more like name. a Bob. A Bob? No, I don't look like a Bob. That's no. You're a wrong. Bobby? No, I'm not even a Bobby. Oh, a Lar maybe, but not a Bobby. Oh. Well, well, don't worry about it. They'll probably haul me up to the next checkpoint if I get there. So, um, for now, just uh, I'm just hanging out, tied up. It's all good. But I'll uh, be back with you shortly, then. Uh, oh, so stay on is. the main path. There's a lot of branches. That's <laughs> that's where you're gonna run into trouble. Yes, I've I've heard, but that's where the opportunity lies. With trouble, it's not. Uh, well, here's the thing: I keep telling these guys stuff, and they just get more excited the more I tell them. Maybe you're one of those weirdos, but if you stay on the main path, that's what the master has determined will um, is the safest route. Because the things you're fighting, well, there's security, but they're really failures. They're disposable. And you're doing the master a uh, service for disposing them for them. I see. Uh, it, they could disassemble them, but that takes time and effort. And also, they're getting data, which is very, very important. Um, if you go off the beaten path, you know, with all the bullets, you might run into one of the more successful, still failures, but one of the more complete versions. Uh... Most here won't live. Even Mister Mister Fancy Pants over there with the the from the uh, the the Kazukoka Mountains. He doesn't shut up about it. Uh, I think I think he can handle a, a version five, but the version six would rip him apart. I it also see. doesn't help that the version six has uh, bone drinking butterflies, so. That sounds terrifying. Um, yeah, but... there's a bunch of butterflies up in that area, and they only drink marrow. Mm. Uh, they're also unable to be seen, except for little flashes of light. Um, Are they more, the younger... more ghostly, or is it is it more of a... They're interdimensional butterflies. They, f- uh... they pop in and out occasionally. Uh, they do need light to survive. So they, they flash in, expose their wings to the sun, and then they go back. Okay. But they'll land it on you and start a drinking you dry before you even realize it. And they can do it from the alternative dimension. But the the one that lives there, um, let's just say they don't have any marrow. And they've killed so many people that the butterflies follow them around and like land on their, their, their skeleton and whatnot. Because they don't move very often. So, symbiotic. I mean, yeah, it's symbiotic. Oh, I guess you could potentially find out if the if you're being hunted by the the, the version six. Um, if you see a bunch of bright flashes mm. all clumped together for no reason, blue ones, blue flashes. That nice. means there's a collection of those butterflies, and ah. it looks like it's on thin air. He's probably right there. Not that you can hurt it. It has one of the um, specialized force fields from the, you know. Uh, oh, I've heard there. about those ones. The the perfect ones. The perfect yeah, shields. Yeah, perfect force field. You'll, yeah, good luck. And it doesn't break plausibility because it's a piece of technology. Mm-hmm. Well. Halo, I, I, it seems so bad that you're all tangled up. Here, let, here, let me, uh, let me uh, help you out. Uh, well, don't do anything too crazy. They'll, they'll get mad at you. Well, 
it is what it is. I hate to see um, someone of your stature and someone who's just got a soul to kind of mm. not be held up. No, I'll be like fine. This. Uh, they're probably not going to be able to take me off the mountain anyways. The Honorable Singularity will kill them. War Master will send the White Death after them. I'm supposed to stay here because basically this is my playpen. Or, like, uh, this is the fence of the yard I'm supposed to... I can't leave. So, if they oh. try and take me off the mountain... Um, uh, the, the, the angry people will come and get them. Okay. So, yeah... Although, no, it'll probably be the White Death. Master's been favoring that particular model recently. Have you ever heard of Blade in the Grass? Oh, that's the uh, nickname for the Honorable Singularity. Oh, him. Yeah, oh. basically the Master. The uh, Master is assigned a knight for meritorious or assisted the crew faction. Um, and it was of high enough... Uh, merit that they were assigned not only a singularity, which is an extreme honor in the first place, but one of the honorable singularities? What? Crazy! Um, probably one of the highest privileges uh, a person from the Truth Faction can ever uh, ever have is being assigned their personal honorable singularity. It's just it's mind-blowing. Well, um, the um, blade in the grass isn't doing too hot. I hear they they are low on energy. So yeah, their battery's dying. Unfortunately, they require a specialized series of resources that, frankly, um, the master might have. But well, the master is not a very good master. Uh, well, at least to their servants, they're very good at what they do. But yeah. Well, yes, I'm trying uh, to um, reach this blade in the grass so um, we can help them out. But uh, they unfortunately, um, there's only nimble. a couple. There's only a couple bad resources you could prevent, possibly provide them. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd need a Gravatix reactor core, a micro one, um, a zero point reactor, a micro one. Or the most practical one to get them would be green meteorite crystals. Yes, the green meteorite crystals. That was um, what uh, I was told was needed for him. Good luck getting uh, that stuff. That stuff's from space. Well, oh, really? Oh. I now, where do you think all the meteorite stuff comes from and why it's called meteorite stuff? Because it falls from space. Yes, we're, um, that's what we plan to do later on is um, with the star fall coming. Um, Get some some types of things of that nature. So, oh, you guys got to be really careful. If you're going after the starfall, it always hits on the backside of the mountain, mm -hmm. the cliff face, and unfortunately, you guys don't have uh, any muscle. You guys That's... have flabby arms. I know, I know. You won't but, be able uh, to go there and collect it. Uh, we we have individuals in, in the nighttime that can help, though the moon uh, moths. Oh, they won't help you. They have no interest in that stuff. But the uh, can be utilized with QR. Oh, very cool. Mm, don't get your hopes up. Unless you're yeah. a moth person with Moon Qigong, I don't think you're going to be doing much of anything, really. Mm, yes, yes. I don't think I will be. I'm, I have um, solar, but no, uh, no Moon Qigong. Oh, maybe you could utilize land light transference techniques or take an energy form. Uh, fire is my my energy type, I suppose. Fire. Well, you so. have to do it during the apex of the day where the, the light of the sun no. directly yes. hits yes, the side yes. of the, the mountain. But mm. if a single cloud comes by, you'll reform back into a person and fall to your death. Ah, yes, that so, would be quite unfortunate. You'd have to watch out for clouds. They would be your enemy. Mm. They take you down. <laughs> Yeah, but then it would be very difficult to move the meteorites because, well, they're eh, meteorites. Although the crystals aren't very heavy, but the uh, the metal ones are. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd be in an energy form. How would you interact with matter? It's true. Yes. Yeah. 
And then you'd have to watch out for clouds. Clouds, yes, yes. Wait, did I say that already? You did. It's okay, though. You'll have to say it again. Okay. Well, hello, my friends. Um, I hope you get out of this binding. I'm, I'm sure you will shortly. Um, well, if they don't, um, I'm considered Master's first success, even though I'm a failure. So, Master's watching? So as long as harm doesn't come to me, um, and I don't talk about really, really important things, which I don't remember them anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, Master likes having me around because uh, I'm like, I'm the weird child, but I'm not the problem child. So, um, well, you know, Halo, my uh, my Dow is failure, and uh, oh. the, f the fact that you're called a failure was quite fated, is it not? Well, I I was the first success in making through the first breach point in the research, but unfortunately, I'm still overall a failure in the in the total scope of the uh, the, the master's goals. From failure so. comes success, and. Uh, it's just how it be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, I will uh, continue on, and please um, do well with the fate I've given you. I I, I want you to uh, succeed, my friend. And, uh, okay. And f from failure, you you will. Take care. I'm going to continue to stare at the ceiling. <laughs> Goodbye, mysterious person. Hello there. Yeah, could you not talk to that thing? Oh, why is that? I don't want you getting any ideas. It took enough uh, time and effort to capture in the first place. Oh, what do you plan to do with Halo? Um, study it. Oh, you don't plan to take it off the mountain, do you? I'd have thought about it, but. I get an ominous chill every time I uh, really consider it, so that's not a sign. Well, I don't know what is. Well, um, Halo was missing a soul earlier, and now they have a soul, so uh, maybe that's something you can you can learn from. Uh huh. You can uh, call me well, Larry. What's your name? Uh, hey, Larry. Um. Ooh, what's a cool code name I can give you? Uh, let's call it MacGyver. MacGyver? Yeah. Oh, that's a good name. What do you sell, MacGyver? Knickknacks? No, no, none of that. Uh, I cobble together all sorts of, uh, let's just say, technological marvels and pieces. Oh. I sell specialty equipment. I also do expedited custom pieces of work. A lot of stuff breaks on the mountain that's really finicky, really touchy, really um, custom. Yeah. Really good at putting that stuff back together. Also good at mods, changes, and doing it quick. But also just make you something. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of effort. And it's really expensive, but not too expensive, because I want you to come back. A lot of people that stare at the giant wall that they can't seem to overcome. And if they just had that one thing, maybe they'd have a shot. Well, they don't have it, but they could if you come to me. Well, I think that should come in handy. Um... We'll, we'll be going up shortly to the the next area. Are you are you planning to go there too, or are you going to stay here? We'll see. Uh, if the way is cleared, I will inevitably move up. Of course. But if it's not, well, most of my my top clients are the individuals who uh, weren't meant to make it to the top, anyways. Oh, I understand. Well, good business either way, right? It is. This is not the particular opportunity I'm really trying to get exclusive clientele on, you know? That's for uh, different places. Oh. Different places, you say? 
Yeah, too small of a gathering of people here. Um, ah, right. There's less opportunity for potential sales. I understand. Well, y'all are poor. Really oh, fucking poor. I mean, we are at the beginning. It's fair. Get us yeah. somewhere. Well, even unless, then, unless you come down from here, the higher bits. Oh, I was just saying. Well, yeah. um, my my fiance, for example, she's come from um, one of the higher sections. So well, then they may actually have some serious money. But again, most of the uh, most of those folks don't come down here. It's uh, this is kind of the backwoods, right? And most individuals don't find this particular opportunity very lucrative. Well, well they're missing well, I mean, out on the effort. Right, it's true. You have to climb up a mountain after all. Get shot at. Never and fun. Zone One has the highest levels of restrictions and suppressions out of the whole entire path. It's true. Yeah. So you're either here by force or here by choice, and neither of those are very good. So, yeah. Well, sometimes you need to fail to move forward. Yeah. Hopefully imagine your failure is paid, not death. Imagine being paid millions of heaven and earth crystals of a high quality just for uh, one minor mod. Rich people are truly fucking rich. It's kind of crazy. Is that, is that your services? Is that what you uh, do oh, for no, the rich I people? Uh, well, I do that for the rich folk who want it right now. <laughs> right this instant. And... No patience. I'm not actually that patient either, but uh, I'm nothing I'm looking for. So... Well, they also kind of want to monopolize services, and uh, yeah, uh, being a merchant later down the line or some sort of craftsman, it's pretty big, especially if you don't go to claim resources mm. or the opportunity. Just set up shop and be like, come one, come all. Give me your money. And they'll come. Come to me, right? Yeah. And they'll come. And they'll, get you, they'll, get, they'll give you their money. Uh, MacGyver, um, I wish you well on the, the rest of your path and making lots of money here today. I, I don't think I have anything to buy, but I was curious to see the, um, all the vendors, um, that are available here. My companion was just, uh, speaking with the, um, the Emperor of Progress, so I plan to go speak to them next. Well, if you need stuff, work done, let me know. We'll do. Take care of yourself. It's the one. Ah. Hello there. Greetings. Sorry to intrude. No, no. Please come in. Their armor is this crazy amalgam of incredibly valuable and durable materials. You see the telltale markings of black iron meteorite, but it's rusting. Their entire so, armor set is undergoing a rapid change. Progress. Um, uh, in fact, certain pieces just turn to rust and fall down to reveal a newer, more advanced set of plating underneath. Which ah. then starts to rust again slowly. Come in. Hello, um, my name, or you can call me Larry. Uh, Larry? I've, uh... I am referred to as the Emperor of Progress, but not to be confused with the Saint. Yes, I've heard the distance, uh, the difference, uh, at least. Uh, both um, worthy of their own right of the title, but different, like you say. Very different. I enjoy that there is a very delineated difference. Well, um, my, my companion, Lyron, was here to see you earlier, and um, I heard great things. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know if you offer services, but um, I would like some help with something if you 
um, if you're willing and have the time. Well, this is not, not no trades, no purchases. Um, whimsy, though. Perhaps if I am whimsically. If I whimsically choose to act, ah, I see. Favor, that's different, but I don't do trades or solicitation of service. And if I did, I would ask for something impossible just to make up for the time. Well, let me uh, tell you a story then, and maybe uh, you might be whimsical of it. Once upon a time, um, a, time. Group, a group of companions and myself, we traveled across the stars, and a, an orrery, which I, I don't know if you've heard of, which is a uh, type of spaceship that is very important to my people. We went to the edge of space to find a fated metal that was, well, quite the, quite the journey. It took us a very long time. But the progress to get there, the time it took, was quite forging for uh, our group. We managed to get there with success and bright eyes. We followed the lights, the fake bonds. Well, this was at the edge of the universe. I received this fated medal that I planned to give to my partner. But at the end, there is a trick, a my path that I did not expect. I had to fail in order to get back home. And in that failure, we managed to fall off the universe. During our time at this repository, I managed to find something for my master. First moon, duality. Turn. We slingshotted across the universe, back here. But there was a cost to that progress. And now there is a individual that wishes to eat all the things we've, we've gained. I don't want to get rid of said individual that is checking their way towards my spaceship. But I was wondering, could we change their progress? Maybe slow them down? Mm. And now I'm here, now working my here. way up. But every day that passes, requires a contribution to this trash can. They are a entity uh. of, of the void. Uh, no, I wouldn't say void. Uh, that's not the right term. They are a... Um, an uh, abyssal monster. An abyssal monster, yes. Hmm. I suppose... Yeah, it's a very interesting request to deny progress, but to slow, slow it down. Yes, it's mm. my path is a failure, and I've thought of many things, but slowing down, the opposite of speeding up, it's like the opposite of success. Hmm. I suppose. All right. That doesn't seem like too much of a request. I like it. 
An invisible monster. After you. Hmm. What is the uh, attrition rate to keep it at bay? Every day, I must provide a cosmic resource. Stardust is doubled every time it is given. But it requires something every day, otherwise it grows ever closer and gains progress. 30 days, that'll be in the millions. Yes. Hmm. Exponential, I guess. Well, if it's doubled every time. Hmm. <laughs> By Out day 30, you'll... Yes. <laughs> so let's do this. I can change it to an additive. Oh. Instead of double, it'll add its... Not itself on top of itself, but it'll add a fixed number that grows slowly. Every day, you will add one to the current value. And then the next day, you will add two, then plus three, then four. Ah, well, that sounds lovely. Um, I still plan to give it lots of food, but... Of course. If we can at least slow it down a little bit. I, well, I can slow it down greatly. Savalair is... is creatures rare, though. They mm -hmm. would have... Uh, it's, it's an equal boon as it is a bane. Yes. And... Creatures of that ilk cannot be found even if you go looking for them outside the universe. <laughs> they have to choose you. <laughs> Yes, so. maybe it got a little distracted by uh, our our light. But um, like you said, I don't I don't wish to stop feeding it. I just wish to slow it down a little bit. And slow is it down there anything? I can. Yes. Is there anything in return um, that I can do for you, Emperor of Progress? You told me a tale. I do enjoy them. I would work <laughs> on your storytelling. Well, once upon a time is dangerous because what time into ah, which it was upon? I understand. Um, that's fair. Although I do enjoy a good story, especially one that I have not heard before. And I have not heard that one before. A repository at the edge of the universe. That's that's very fun. Well, it's it's the the lessons you learn along the way is the best part of the story, I'd say. Unless you are the uh, individual being told the said story. Fair. <laughs> well. Hmm. I'll do this. Oh. And done. Uh, it will Excellent. be slowed. Savalair will um, bow their head and um, I will might not see you again, but this has been quite the experience. Perhaps. You observe its unlucky number. I notice that it has a quirk. Oh. Its unlucky number is 7, 9. If that probability shows itself, it will move forward. Ah. And you'll have to pay the next price now. Okay. It's. I am strong, but it is in. It's a primordial creature using powers that don't really synergize with what I can do. Mm -hmm. I can apply this suppression. And since it is not a complete suppression, it holds. But something about its primordial nature still slips my absolute grasp. So, observe seven and nine. 
markedly, notably together. Yes. As a single number. If a 9-7 is rolled, or a 9-7 reveals itself in probability, mm -hmm. there is a small chance it moves forward. Very Same well. with a silence and singular 7 and 9. Yes. Basically, if a 7, a 9, or a 97 is rolled, yes. roll a d10. If, if it rolls a 10, it counts as a 79. It moves up. 10% chance on those numbers. Mm -hmm. 79, it always just triggers, but 10% on the other three. Yeah. Perfect. It is such a strange thing. Hmm. Well, sometimes you get to see strange things and interact with strange things. I was not expecting it. Um, Do but no, price. It, oh. it can also be used to advance your progress in things. If it moves up, why don't you move up as well in whatever task you are doing? Um, it is trying to accelerate your end. Why not accelerate yourself? Use it and the fear or the um, impending doom. It's an inerexable clock as a motivator. I use this all the time. Hmm. Well, I will. If it moves up every day, well then, you should move up every day as well. Savalair will smile at that. If you'd like, I can tell you the second precept of progress. Maybe it'll help you keep your progress. Yes, please. <laughs> Do you know these are more than just words? I know, which is why I had to think very hard on what to ask for. Because I could lose out on progress that I've hardly uh, hard earned. And I just having it happen, well, I miss out. I miss out on the learn learning, and by by failing, I move forward. So very well. My second precept of progress: progress is both bane and boon to itself. It moves at its own pace, regardless of those around it regardless of those who push it. But those who can tap onto the heartbeat of progress and time their actions to its rhythm can find themselves moving very quickly. Savalair will, uh, you know, slightly nod to that. Now, catching on to the beat, eh? I know someone who's good at that. <laughs> well, not as good as you, of course, Emperor of Progress. Uh, okay. I will take that and say, till next time, it seems we were fated to meet, and maybe we'll meet again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write this for you. You don't have to. I can get it from the recording later, man, if you'd like. So, seven and nine, eh? Yeah, I thought a lot of things to myself on um, like kind of the best course of action for progress. And it's like, oh, I could progress my DAO. I could progress my um, 
you know, my relationship. Um, but at the end of the day, those are things that I'd miss out on if I make it go too quick. Yeah. Um, so the second precept, since you've accepted it, will give you what is called a progression pool. Okay. Uh, is a reservoir that can hold progress. Okay. Um, in other words, um, when a 79 happens and it moves forward, I get a progress point? No. Okay. Uh, every time you feed it, you get that many progress points stored in the pool. Okay. All right. So this is more of a representation of how to utilize the, uh, the abyssal yes. creature then. Gotcha, gotcha, yes. gotcha. So if you feed it every day, it goes one mm -hmm. plus one is two. Now you have two points. Next day yep. is plus three points. Plus four. And it just keeps racking. Every time gotcha. it moves, you also add it. Now tapping into the progress pool point mm -hmm. is hard. Yeah. It can only be tapped into if you roll a seven, a nine, a 79, or a 97. And the other two and ones. And if yeah, it yeah. doesn't apply to a roll, oops. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so there's a four percent chance you can literally just be doing something and go, "Well, man, I have a thousand progress in this thing, and I haven't been able to do anything." And you just start doing a downtime, and then you roll a seven, and you're like, <gasps> "I have so many progress that I need to do for this thing. I'm gonna dump all a thousand progress into this." <laughs> Okay, so it comes really handy when you're doing downtime actions, and it's like, hmm, yep. gotcha, 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 and gotcha. The, the more you feed this thing, the more the progress thing moves up. Gotcha. Yeah. Excellent. Ah. Well, that should be really fun. Um, yeah, Matt, I was like I was saying, I, I just I didn't want to um, uh, I didn't want to kick myself in the ass for something, and I wanted to like kind of give something worth you know what i mean like something um like the trash can and uh yeah that should be fun that should be fun um okie dokie so that is one two three four five six downtimes actions one two three four five actually five that time actions um and now that i've talked to all these individuals Um, I'm going to do a few more, uh, quick things now. So, all right. Um, did they go over and, uh, get anybody extra? Um, did, uh, Casey no. talk, talk to anybody? Okay. No, no one wanted to join in. Your group's very full. Yeah. Uh, the, the current plan was if you can't join them, beat them. Fair. Which is the I reverse. Mean, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let people go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, so there's that. Yeah. Um, so for the next slash R, be 100. So, um, Matt, uh, the way I'm I'm planning on doing days now is um, because I, I I got the mighty neat as a negative quality. I was thinking the yeah. easiest way to do it is to roll a three d one hundred, and then it's a minus thirty to the willpower test, right? Um, so mm -hmm. if if I fail those, um, you know, the determines like ahead of time, so I'm not like doing it after every downtime um scene because that, that kind of gets tedious for myself and like i'd forget kind of deal yeah so i'm gonna roll them now um and and if i need to uh i will use uh trust. so two successes the 94 i'm going to add on um uh what is it so 30 that's going to be 6 5 key. 5 key to pass that um 
Yeah. All right. So there's those ones. Uh, I'm going to go to the moon, the Ori, and I'm going to work on a uh, single point of perception uh, with duality. Uh, I'm going to eat a sandwich as well. So I'm going to apply a boom to that beforehand. Okay, there's two extra progress. Perception. So five, six, seven, eight, one downtime, and that is eight out of ten. So if I'm going to a hundred, it's ten. Yeah, it's always the that that number, right? If I was going from to forty, it's four, right? So eight out of ten, and then one more perception. And uh, we're not doing the seven and the nine there for additional degrees of success, right? Because it's actually an eight additional degrees, correct? So there is a seven and a nine in that in that place, but I don't think they work together. No, it actually has to be the physical dice roll, not the yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Besides, like I was saying, it's a success with an additional seven, so it would be an eight anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is uh, one hundred perception. Now I can get myself an extra reaction that I was kind of uh, worried about. Um, so that's good there. Two, excellent. Right. Um, so after the Ori, I'm going to go to, uh, I am going to go to, uh, inside the card and I'm going to put uh, uh, the refining manuals, the forming manuals and the array manuals um, in the contribution hub uh, for my peeps. So um, one thing of note, um, you said it can't be copied um, for the array and no, no, for the, uh, um, it was for the array stuff, right? Uh, yeah. These books uh, can't be copied. Not just the array ones, but the, the farmer's ones. Okay. So um, they can't be duplicated, transcribed, photocopied, scanned. Okay. But uh, they I have do... an unlimited number of reads. Mm -hmm. I just want to know if this is the case for this too. So for my level six of my season's balance complex, it's called RR and R. Item investments that are put into and have put into the recreation card are recreated to the recreation card standards. In other words, karma is severed for most of these items. The items have been previous copies are reset to include new complex level and some are still one to one. Um, if you so, sever the karma, the, uh, the item self-destructs. So it would self-destruct. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Which would be unable to be copied. Yeah. 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 Um, Okay, I just wanted to double check to make sure I could uh, use you could that. Have or not. It just produce really nice blank books, right? <laughs> um, but 
but yeah, so it would uh, be cultivator paper. It's true. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, but uh, oh wait, uh, but I was gonna say the copies. Hmm, interesting. It would be uh, the same grade of paper, but the knowledge would not be on it. Right, right, right. And you could Which, get the same amount of ink spent in a jar instead, but nothing on the page. Okay. Well, that's good then, because then we can keep the original and have the copies be turned into books. Other books. Cultivator yeah. books, and the ink with it as well. Yeah. What's the, so what's the grade have, of the books? Uh, they're all low grade, because they're, def- they're the very first tier of books yes low grade it's all about the knowledge anyway okay perfect yeah. hey that's awesome uh because i'm currently at level seven uh which mm-hmm. means i get seven copies um yeah some good and, stuff uh so seven uh, copies you also of the books. get that for every book you get a whole book because they're unique the of, yeah. they're unique books right 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 yeah, right and, and you kind of, have <laughs> you bought 60 books for the farmer thing anyways, plus right? uh, the eight books, four from the array, four from the... Uh... Well, those are going to definitely come in handy. Um, okay, cool, yeah, cool. So you have uh, 68 times seven, seven books, right? a- empty books, and uh, amounts of ink. Okay, all right. Hey, uh, that's Some that... of them have pictures, too, so you have different colors of ink. Mm-hmm. Oh, ooh. Oh, that's fun. Um, R and R coming in handy there. Um, okay, so we got that. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna give the um the farming um to the the spring sect. Um, and then be like, hey guys, here's a project for you. Please work on this. Um, and I'm gonna give the array books to the array sect. Um, or the um uh, the the uh, the mines or the, the winter sect, sorry, which is the array masters. Um, and, uh, I'm going to be giving the set of books of the refinement to the, um, to our head honcho, uh, which is, uh, George Beckernwald squad leader. You're like, I've got something for you. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if this is your path yet, but it was something to um, just something to work on while you're you have some free time. I think it would be really useful for you, especially with all the other sex. Um, they, the refinement kind of draws from each of the um, our four courts, and I, f- I feel like that would come in handy if you uh, are able to utilize it. Here's some here's some reading material for you, sir. Uh, what? Oh, that's a lot of reading. Uh, yeah. It'll be done. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. We we still have a ways to go, but like I said, I just I uh, I see the potential there, and um, I think it will go well. All righty. So that's he's he's got that. I will put that with him as an investment. Um, for the refining and the farming will go to them, the array will go to them. So that will take um, three downtime actions uh, for each of the individuals getting the uh, the books to going to each each um, like person and uh, you know hand giving it to them and taking the time to talk to them about it and stuff. Um, uh, so there's that and. So three, then two for that, um, and then I'm going to rest to regain key and to uh, uh, to get rid of fatigue. And that will be another day. So I have two days left. Uh, we'll make them, you know, fairly quick. Uh, I was thinking about working on some of my uh, weapon skill. Let's do that now. Two day means uh, toughness check. Actually, new day is also uh, 
3D 100 as well. Or uh, Mighty Neat. Uh, the 96, um, I will actually uh, spend a day uh, or that downtime scene. Um, uh, yeah, so that's a failure for willpower for, for one. So I'm going to take two, um, uh, two drops. Um, and I'm going to spend that time on the, uh, on the prayer mat, um, uh, praying to fate bonds. As I am a, uh, a mighty nerd of, uh, uh my goddess. I have my little action figures uh, of fake uh, fake bonds uh, in the moon, kind of just like right beside <laughs> me. Just, like, take a little peek at it whenever and then, just like kind of having it in my hands. Um, and uh, so that's what I'll do the, for that downtime scene. Um, uh, so I don't lose per se, but I don't do it anything productive. So um in that case i wouldn't be able to gain progress towards things um but i would still be you know praying so that's just it is what it is for that um and for the other two i'm going to be doing weapon skills so i'm going to roll uh some weapon skill tests oh matt do you mind if i pick up a uh, a negative quality while we're here another one another one um, I was thinking, uh, I think a really good one would be uh, commuter train. Uh, you will uh, get to your destination to sooner, uh, uh, to insanity, you know what I mean? Yeah. Commuter train. Yeah. So I was thinking about that one. It's a four star negative. Um, when you gain sanity, roll twice and take the higher number. Yeah. So I'll pick that one up. already have it written down um, in my bio and info, so just needed to uh, un-negatify it. I have a line through them pretty much, or just ones that I have kind of future planning to get. Save changes. Ready? Um, and yeah, so we'll do uh, slash R sixty one hundred um, less than forty six is my number. Uh, forty five, sorry. So uh, there's four drops, and uh, progress. One second, Matt. My phone is calling. All right, and there's no seven and nines in any of those. Um, and then I'm going to eat a sandwich with um, plus 100 from 20 key. Uh, there's a six uh, with 15 degrees of success. And we're going to apply that to our weapon skill test next for a plus 10. 66, 6, 6, 6. Ooh, wonderful. Um, and then the next wolf ones are going to be at 55. Okay, so that 53 is going to have that 15 uh, progress. To it, 
And other 53 is also. And there's no seven and nines. So there's those two done. Gorgeous. Is there anything we should need? Okay, and these last ones, uh, I'm going to be working on um, my 33 and my 24. Uh, so 33 out of 50 for um, perception, and 24 out of 50 for willpower. These aren't... Um, stat things they are my uh bring uh the card into reality one and uh expeditions retreat which allows me to get into the uh um into the card uh so first one i'm gonna do is these perceptions and with duality they're at plus 50 which is uh honestly just one's there so it's a new day slash r 3d 100 less than 70. um so one success i'm going to be using uh e on so 10, 20, so four key for the 87, and then three key for the 84. Minus seven, and let's do those ones. Perception. Slash R sixty one hundred. Excellent. And there is no uh seven and nines there. No seven and nines. All right. All done, Matt. Cool. <sighs> Be nice and caught up. Let me yeah. change the my headset. One sec. Yep. There we go. Hey, uh, have you seen the new thing on League? It's so cool, eh? It's like uh, it's Vampire multiplayer survivors. Of Vampire Survivors. Yeah. I yeah. was playing with Chara earlier today. Uh, yeah. we, sh we should we should do that sometime. Get all three of us together. I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, we played with Frock as well, and Frock was doing pretty good. Uh, oh, he struggles I, I, with normal league and TFG, yeah, yeah. but he's actually pretty good at this one. Oh, good, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does take a bit to ramp up though, because you have to do all those unlocking. So it, it, oh, it's that's that's so that's hard. any uh, you know roguelike. So it's it's just the way it be, and uh, yeah. I have a f I'm doing pretty good. I, I I got a lot of progress done today. So yeah, uh, thanks for the uh, for the catch up session, Matt. Um, we'll say that's uh, I got two hours recorded, so we'll say uh, fifteen dollars. Nah, don't worry about it, Johnny. Okay, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We uh, we're just uh, trying to make sure you're up with the group. Yeah, well, oh. at the end of the day, I, I like it because we. Uh, you know, it's not slowing other people down. So um, we're all mm -hmm. good to go and uh, we'll call it from there. All right, Matt, thank you very much for your time. Um, I have other plans, but um, talk soon. Okay.